Hey you guys, welcome aboard Crab Central Station. My name is Darcy, and in this video, we are going to answer one of your most asked questions. How do I have an active hermit crab? Let's get started. Before we can get into the tips and tricks of how to have a more active hermit crab, I have three disclaimers that I want to put up front right here at the beginning of the video. First of all, you guys, and most importantly, you have to have the basics down within your tank and your environment before any of these tips are going to do anything for you. Your hermit crabs need to be thriving within their environments. That means they need all of the basic care taken care of and consistent within their tanks. We have videos on all of these things, you guys. Check them out. We've got heat, humidity, um, tank size, substrate, food and nutrition, um, all of those types of things, all about water care, you guys. These things have to be met consistently before your hermit crab has any hopes of being active and with any hopes of these tips being helpful to you. So check those videos out. We also have tons of resources on our website, you guys. We can read all about these different aspects of basic care. Go to www.crabcentralstation.com or you can always visit Crab Street Journal as well. Now, the second disclaimer. Carpet crabs are nocturnal by nature. They come out at night, that's when they're most active and that is going to hold true to our hermit crabs in captivity even if we have great basic care, even if we add all of these enrichment tips that I'm about to share with you guys, they're still going to be more active at night. That's totally normal. Even our hermit crabs in our tank are more active at night. And different species have different activity levels between day and night as well. And so keep that in mind. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. And the third disclaimer, you guys, is if you are new to keeping hermit crabs, be patient trust the process. These tips in this video are really to layer on top of basic needs like we were saying before. And if you're new to keeping hermit crabs, your crab isn't healthy yet. They need some time to rehydrate, to get that good nutrition, to have a really good molt, to get comfortable in captivity and feel safe. So just be patient with them, give them some time to recoup and recover. You guys, the, the industry is horrible. We've talked about this in several of our videos. It takes hermit crabs some time to heal from that whole process of being captured from the wild um, and getting to your tanks. So those are three things I want you guys to keep in mind before you add on these extra tips of having an active hermit crab. Okay, tip number one to have a more active hermit crab is tank size. I know we've talked about this, you guys, and we generally say the rule is 10 gallons per crab, and that's for safety and molting. But if you're talking about wanting active hermit crabs, you gotta go bigger. You gotta go bigger. Guys, the bigger tank gives more space. It's just natural that your hermit crabs would be more active if they have more space to be active in. Plus you have more space to add enrichment items. So just kind of goes without saying, if you want active hermit crabs, you gotta give them the space in which to be active. And while we're on the topic of tank size, tip number two is to add a topper. We have toppers on our tank and our hermit crabs use every inch of those toppers. In fact, I would say the majority of our hermit crabs spend most of their time up in the toppers. We've created great ways for them to climb and hide and explore, and toppers are a great way to do that. We prefer the Exoterra tanks because you can easily invert them, um, which will, can, will give you your sealed tank environment, which you, you need for your humidity and your heat, um, but it still gives you the access with those front doors to be able to um, maintain your tank easily and get access to all parts of your tank. So we love the Exoterra tanks for toppers. Um, if you use a regular aquarium that you're just inverting, I will just give you a little warning. Be careful. We've had some trouble with those in the past. You can use them. I've seen a lot of people use them safely, um, but they are a little bit more difficult to maintain because they don't have access from the front. Um, for us, we had like a rainforest effect going on um, in two of our tanks where we did this. The um, condensation would gather at the top and it would literally rain down from, from the top and created a flood. 
slide. So just be really careful if that's the route that you want to go, um, which is why we use Exoterras. So um, also you guys, toppers are great for enrichment. It's a great place where you can add um, climbing logs and the cocoa huts where they can hide and climb on. Um, we have 3D backgrounds, which we have videos you guys can watch how to create a 3D background in your topper as well. And I really think that toppers, you guys, create this um, safety for our hermit crabs because they are land hermit crabs, they're tree crabs, they love to climb, they live up in the trees along the foresty areas of beaches, and that height gives them safety. That's where you would find them in nature, and I think that's why we find a lot of our hermit crabs up in the toppers. They wanna to go to that highest point that they possibly can in our tank, and it's been like that even before we had toppers. You could find them at the highest point in the base tank. So we knew once we added those toppers that our, our hermit crabs would just really love exploring. Tip number three is to add some more friends, more buddies, more hermit crabs to your tank. Think about it in the wild. They live in colonies of hundreds. They are used to having a lot of buddies around them. And I think it helps them to feel safe. I think it helps for their environment to feel natural when we have more friends for them to hang out with, to cuddle up with. Um, you know, our hermit crabs are spending lots of time together all the time. They're in the pools together, they're eating together at the dish, they're hanging out in the toppers together, they're on the wheel together. It's so crazy, it gets me every time. But, you know, they're just always spending time together. So I think the more hermit crabs that you have, um, the more active that they're going to be. And each hermit crab kind of has some different characteristics. And so if you have several of them, chances are you'll get a few that are naturally more active. And so that always helps as well. This is a double-edged sword. Let me explain. If you're going to add more hermit crabs to your colony, you do have to have this the space in your tank to safely house them. So when we say 10 gallons per crab, that's in the base tank where the, the substrate is. That's for safety and molting. So even if you're adding toppers, that's not adding to your gallons per crab. That's just adding for your enrichment and climbing, which is great. That's what we're talking about here is having enrichment so you can have active hermit crabs. But when you're adding a buddy to the tank, you have to have safety and molting space. So if you're gonna have five hermit crabs, you have to have at least a 50 gallon base tank, right? Um, but like we're saying, go as big as you can. So you always wanna keep it safe. If you overstock your tank, you can have aggression and fighting. Um, crabs actually feel insecure because they feel like their resources are limited. And so they have to kind of fight for the resources that are there. And so that would be going against what we're trying to do here. So you wanna find a good balance of having enough friends for your hermit crabs to feel um, safe and like nature, but not feel um, like they are being challenged within their space. So definitely have a species buddy for every type of species that you have, um, but if you can have three or four, even better. All right, you guys, tip number four, and probably the most fun to talk about, and one that you guys ask a lot about, which is decor. What do we put in our tank? Where do I get these items? What are the best things to have? And I can tell you guys that this is, I think, a huge, huge part of having active hermit crabs. For us, decor is really important. And we are always trying to find things that are natural, mimicking what they would see in nature, or helping them to have an enriched life within their environment. Those are the things that we look at when we put things in our tank. So natural items like wood, cork logs that they can climb through and on and over, um, choya that helps them to grip. You can even hide things inside the holes of the choya. It's great. Um, also different kinds of rocks or coral, barnacles. Um, you can look for different kinds of shells. You know, big, the big conch shells are great for decor. They can climb over them. That's something that they would see in nature. So those are the things that you really want to think about. Even your, your greenery. I mean, we have artificial greenery in our tank, but we're thinking about, you know, what looks natural to their environment. Can they climb it? Is it adding foliage at the top where they can feel safe? All of those things are so important when you're thinking about what to put in your tank. And placement, you guys, this one is huge. If you don't hear anything else today, hear this one. To me, having an active, active hermit crab has a lot to do with where you place your decor in your tank. So you want your hermit crabs to feel safe. They're prey animals. The reason they come out at night is because they can't be seen as easily. They feel safer that way. Um, and so in your tank, if you can place your decor in a way where they always 
feel safe, then they will be more apt to coming out during the day. So instead of putting all of your decor at the back of the tank, which I think is typically what we, we do, and I even did that in the beginning as well, because we want to have all this open space in the front to be able to see our hermit crabs. The thing is they don't want to come out to this open space because they, they feel um, vulnerable, okay? So instead, bring some of your decor right up to the glass. Place some in the middle of your tank, in and out, so that your hermit crabs, as they climb and crawl around your tank, they always feel like they have a place that they can duck behind or hide in or under. And so they feel more, um, more safe to be able to come out and explore their tank, all parts of their tank, not just across the back of the tank. So placement, you guys, I just can't even say it enough, is so, so huge. Where can you move some things in your tank where your hermit crab can feel safe no matter where they are? I think that's gonna make a huge difference. And then finally, we're going to talk about enrichment items. This is kind of fun. Um, and this is an area where I feel like hermit crab keepers are really, really growing. And that is um, developing really cool items to add to the enrichment. So anything where you can kind of give your hermit crab a way to exercise or work um, or to, to be those scavenger animals that they actually are, that's enrichment. So there are two companies and we're going to just, we'll put them in the description below for you guys. Um, that we have used in our tanks here, and that is Cinebita Curiosities and Professor Pinchy's Puzzle Emporium. Say that three times fast. Professor Pinchy's Puzzle Emporium. Professor Pinchy's Puzzle... Anyway, they are great, great companies. Um, this right here is a box bush in a little dish, and we put sunflower seeds in there, and the hermit crabs have to like kind of scavenge between all those little um, bush petals to find their sunflowers. Um, she has a lot of different coconut um, halves where she's created these puzzles within this coconut shell and your hermit crab has to go and scavenge in there to find, you know, maybe dried flowers or leaf litter, whatever you happen to put in there for them. Um, uh, Cinebita Curiosities has created the Curiosity Cube, which is made out of craft mesh. And it kind of mimics like the dog toy where you put the treat in the middle and the dog has to lick it out or try to grab it out with their paw. Um, enrichment for your dog. Well, this is the same kind of idea, but enrichment for your hermit crab. So there's a little tiny hole in the craft mesh where they you can hide a piece of popcorn or some dried dehydrated fruit maybe. And your hermit crab has to try to pinch through that little hole to get that little treat, which is just enriching their lives you guys. Um, it's so much fun to watch the hermit crabs. It really does make quite a bit of difference in their activity. And I'm just going to add that something we have found too is in, in normal feeding. Okay, you're just feeding your normal dishes. Try every once in a while to find something where your hermit crabs have to work a little bit harder to get at it. So I don't know if you guys saw the um, tamale dinner that we made. We'll link the iCard up here you guys. Um, but they had to actually rip apart that corn husk to be able to get that tamale out. And man, the crabs absolutely loved that. They just ripped it to shreds and they ate the whole entire thing. But it's just little things like that that really increase um, the activity in your hermit crabs because it's giving them something to do. And speaking of searching for their food and working at getting their food and putting it in puzzles and curiosity cubes and things like that. It's a great segue into my final tip, you guys, which is foraging. And we have talked about foraging being an important nutritional part of their diet, but I can tell you 100%, you guys, if you want an active hermit crab, you have to give them a lot of really good foraging items. Again, it's part of nature. This is what they do. They, they have instincts to, to go out and forage. And if you offer them these forage items throughout the tank, it encourages them to get out and walk around and actually find the items, which makes them more active even during the day. We have found that scattering leaf litter over the substrate is helpful. Um, moss and lichens, they love those. And you can place them around your water pools. You can put them in a cocoa hut or something like that. Dried flowers are great. You can sprinkle them again on your substrate or you can put them in a little dish. Um, something that they have to go looking for. We've even like put them in a cork log in the hollow part, sprinkle it in the middle and they have to go finding them, you know, 
just picture yourself in the tank and wanting to do something, wanting to go somewhere, you know, a food would lure you there. And then you would start to feel more comfortable in your space. And you would start to feel like, oh, this is like home. I go walking along the sand and I find these items um, that are really good for my diet and it gives me something to do. So I, I know it's hard to think like a hermit crab maybe, but that's what I try to do when I think about what to put in my tank. And as I've watched my hermit crabs over the years, these are the things that I feel like have really helped them to be more active um, within their environment. And, and it's just it's getting as close as possible to what they would actually have you guys if they were not in captivity. I hope these tips were helpful and that you enjoyed this video. Give them a try and see what works in your tank and how your hermit crabs respond. Just keep in mind, it could take a little while for you to see those changes for your hermit crabs to get comfortable and feel safe, but have fun trying some different things, you guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It would be really helpful. We would love to have you guys on your journey here with us at Crab Central Station. Also, if you haven't already, follow us on our social medias. We give a lot of tips over there. We answer your questions. You can DM us on Instagram, you guys. So follow us on all of those different platforms. And until the next video, you guys, happy crabbing. We'll see you next time. Bye.